We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show, where our one rule is we love lamp. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are diving in. We're checking out the Zoetti. It is by A Dusklight Co. Limited and Akupara Games, releasing on April 20th, 2023. A big shout out and a thank you to Akupara Games for hooking me up with the code for this. Uh, I am not on vacation yet because we're waiting. Our car broke and we're waiting on passport stuff. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I wasn't planning to be here during uh, certain releases and now I am here. So I figured I might as well get some extra cool stuff done. And I reached out. And they were kind enough to send a code my way. So a big shout out and a thank you to Akupara Games. We're going to be able to code for this. And it was even like after release. So like... That's like going the extra mile. So seriously, thank you very much. I do appreciate it for you working with me. That being said, I, I played around a little bit to kind of get a feel for the game, get a rough idea of what I'm doing, and I have it, and we're ready to go. So let's begin, shall we? Yep, overwrite my current story. I am okay with that. All right, so it looks like we only have story mode. Uh, adventure mode is locked. We'll be able to unlock it later on down the line. It looks like our story is only taking place as Valentina's story. She's a knight. She's got basic and enhancement. I don't know what those mean exactly, but it looks like there's two other characters we'll be able to play as eventually. So Valentina as our starting location, or our starting heroine, as it were. Saintly Trial, a young member of the Arcana Church, sets out on a pilgrimage to the Origin Temples in the hopes of rising through the ranks. Uh, our target is to complete the trials of the two Astral Envoy Examiners and enter the Temple of Coins and Temple of Scepters to be baptized. Don't know what that means exactly, but I'm here for it, and that looks like it's the only thing we can do. We can't adjust the difficulty or anything else, which is probably good. Because we have a lot to get through, a lot to learn, a lot to figure out. This game looks really, really, really... It looked really, really fun. Uh, I pl Again, played it very briefly. It is fun. I, I like what I see, and uh, I'm here for it. So let's see uh, what you guys think as we get deeper in. Long ago, there were two powerful goddesses. One was the virtuous goddess Zoeti, who presided over the moon, the sun, and the stars. Or sun, moon, and stars. The other was an evil goddess, Nasus, who reigned over demon kind. I feel like those two are not equal. Run, one presides over in the celestial body, like everything outside our planet off in space, and the other one's like, eh, humans, nature, you know, wind, water, fire, nope, demon kind, just, just demons. It's a, it's a little imbalanced, just saying. One fateful day, war broke out between the two goddesses. In the end, the evil goddess was defeated, her body transformed into scarlet soul stone fragments. These evil soul stone fragments fell to the mortal world and attached themselves to the creatures that inhabited it, changing them into fiends. In moments, the mortal world became a hellish nightmare. Zoeti, grievously wounded in the battle with Nasus, converted her remaining strength into 22 rays of light, which she scattered throughout the mortal world. Those who mastered the power of the stars granted by these rays became known as astral envoys, they waged war against the fiends, sealing them with astral energy. However, with the loss of its virtuous goddess, the mortal world gradually lost its piety. The power of the astral envoys was derived from the faith in the goddess Zoeti. To ensure that the seal on the fiends would continue to hold, one astral envoy gathered the astral energy that had been scattered throughout the land and used it to create the four gods. These gods were... Batons, god of passion and creation, brandishing the scepter of fire. Coops, sure, or Coupes, uh, god of inspiration and emotion, holding the holy grail of water. Epis, or Epias, we're just going to go with Epis, uh, goddess of wisdom and conflict, wielding the sword of wind. And Daenerys, goddess of matter and harvests. Bearing the coins of Earth. Fire, water, wind, Earth, heart. Captain Planet's coming, guys and gals. What? Thus was Arcania born. A kingdom pious in its worship of Zoeti and the four gods. After many astral revolutions, 
In the hopes of rising up through the ranks, a young member of Arcania has set out on a sacred pilgrimage to the four origin temples with the help of the guide. And apparently this is our cute guide. Well, we're here. Your first examiner is in that inn up ahead. An adorable griffian with cat ears grabs your hand and points excitedly ahead. Um, so why aren't we going over? Relax, will ya? The examiner may be an astral envoy, but she's also a normal person like us. She just appears like super, or sorry, she's just like super duper powerful, that's all. She's got an interesting personality, but she's a good person at heart. She won't do anything weird, pr probably. Okay, in we go. She grabs your hand and pulls you towards the end. As soon as you walk in, you see a bewitching griffian with sheep horns sitting in the corner. Surrounding her is a group of people kneeling before her. She glances over and languidly raises her hand. You kneel. Uh-huh. Rebel, commanding someone to kneel on your first meeting is a bit much, don't you think? Fine then, you kneel instead. Um, if I do, will you give me some fish? <laughs> Just kneel and you'll find out. The rest of you may leave. Time to play with this little kitty cat. She manders lazily up to you and raises your chin with her magic staff. You're a cute one, aren't you? My trial is somewhat frightening. Do you really think you'll make it through? She lowers her wand and begins to fade away. Rebel, wait! You're not going to explain the trial? Oh, bother. Do I have to do everything around here? You take care of that. After Rebel disappears into the shadows, a few sheets of paper flutter down and land on the ground. Uh, I don't want to do more work. Rebel, you stinky little horn butt. Okay. The guide looks at you and clears her throat before picking up the papers. <clears throat> Please allow me to explain. If you wish to enter the origin temples and receive the baptisms of the four gods, you must first complete a few trials. A different astral envoy will serve as the examiner at each of the temples. That was Miss Rebel, the astral devil, and examiner for the goddess of coins. Here, a little something to help you out. Uh, okay. Upon suffering an attack, inflicts damage to the attacker equal to twice the number of attacks. Doesn't sound that impressive. At the start of battle, defense performance. Armor gain from using skills increases. Maybe. After using the up skill for the first time, temporarily... Um, is this only at the like very first part of the thing? I'm going to try this. I, I don't know. All right, so think of poker hands. That's that's what this game is all about. Getting various different poker hands from the cards that you draw, and then each of those hands coincides with a specific skill. So in this case, when we get a mini flush, we'll be able to do one of these three skills. Uh, we can gain one strength. We can gain three temporary strength. Or we can get defense performance, which again increases our defense. I'm going to go with the one strength, the permanent one, versus three that are temporary from what I read there. Uh, a full house. A full house and another straight. But this is not a mini. This is a full on straight. This uh, gains seven armor, seven armor three times and draw two cards. This inflicts fragile and frail for two turns. Temporary card draw enhancements plus one, draw two cards. Card draw increased at the start of the next turn. Attack is reduced by or to 75%. And damage increased is or damage taken is increased by 50%. That's kind of interesting. Uh, and then this one, you inflict the damage reduction to 70 25% damage reduction. And you increase or you deal damage so you deal 30 damage. Uh I'm gonna go with the full house. I think that's easier to get than the other one. If you have any questions, at, uh, any questions, any at all, you can find me at the end. The guide shoves the papers into your hand and pushes you toward the door. So just pick whichever trial you're interested in and complete it. Make it quick, okay? May the stars be with you. Bye bye. Yes, time for some fish. Okay. Well, she's not a very good guide, is she? All right. Uh, looks like we have two options. 
The trial of survival, survival of the fittest. What a beautiful phrase. How many people must you trample upon to finish this trial? <laughs> See how tenacious you can be, little kitty. And then alternatively, was the trial difficult? Hardly. Let me show you what a truly delightful trial looks like. It looks like we get skills from this, whereas this gives us an accessory. It looks like four battles or a battle, some sort of event, maybe, and another battle. Ah, let's try this one. This looks more menacing. But I think I like the idea of getting an accessory. I, I don't know, maybe I'm being stupid here. Alright, gameplay tutorial. Uh, branch, I guess it's just a single thing. Deals damage, a pair does... Def I, th these are basically, basically how your skills work. So it's showing you like a single card is is a one-off uh, one pair. You, you get a pair, and that gives that you that one. This is two pair, a one one, a two two, so on and so forth. Each hand of card represents a skill. Select cards to form a hand. The effect of the skill will be displayed above the hand. Uh, once you form a hand, drag it up until it glows and release to activate. Okay. Select the skill quick pick button at the bottom of the screen to quickly switch between the available hands. You can play cards every turn until your hand is empty. You can also keep your hand and play it on the next turn. This symbol represents the number of cards in your hand and the limit. Okay. This represents how many cards you'll draw in the next turn. When your hand is red, you will exceed the number of draws in the next turn. Select to end turn when you're out of the cards. Pretty simple. All right. From looking at what we're looking at here, we have a full house. We have a mini flush. Uh, we can also do one pair in singles. Uh, it's going to attack us for a total of s uh, three damage. So the full house doesn't seem to be worth it. Well, we can just do a one pair. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. That's going to give us six armor. And then maybe more depending on whatever this is. I don't know. Um, on top of that, I guess we can just start slapping. If we're really feeling good about ourselves. We need to go with one more. Alright, I'm going to do the seven here. And I'm going to draw six cards. We have four left in our hands. This is the, I think, the start of the next group that we're going to pull. So, and the turn. We did a little bit of damage. We absorbed the damage that they were doing. So we're feeling okay. All right, not attacking this time. Cast strength on you or your partner. Cast temporary strength on you. Uh, and, and poison blade, maybe. I'm not. I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna do the mini flush, which will boost our strength by one. So we'll drag that up there. I don't think they're swinging on us, so I think we can just go at it. I am going to attempt the full house. Uh, I'm not going to attempt the full house. I am just going to hit him with some singles. That gives us a full house. That's yeah, fine. All right, whatever. We're just going to end the uh, one the turn. Let's see what happens. We have a shield. Temporarily weakened us, but we already have plus one to strength. Going to hit us with a six piece. Do the single pair first to start with. That will stop all damage, but if you take a look, we did get rid of our straight, unfortunately. That was not the pair we should have gone with. We should have done the straight first and so on and so forth. Eh, it is what it is. All right, we're just going to drag all of our cards over there and just beat them to death with little baby attacks. We'll start fresh in the next one here. I, we're going to absorb enough to avoid getting killed here, which is great. So, I think this... Yeah, this gives us... Two armor, it looks like. The start of our turn. Doing the same thing again. If I do that, that's fine. Boost our strength. 
Six again, we have six, and then we'll get the plus two as well. And boom. All right, when we end the turn, we get the plus two from our shield. The attack is coming out, and we're fine. Uh, I think the mini flush again is fine, and it looks like these are just buffs and debuffs. So we don't have to worry about shielding up this time, which is great. And we defeated the spider. Okay, our strength went up. Claim our rewards. Two pair tactical guard. Two pair defensive stance. And two pair attack stance. Temporary strength. 12 armor. Temporary card enhancement. Gain armor four. Gain four armor two times. Temporary. Temporary. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I think we're going to go with that one. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth it. All right, I'm going to try this event thing, and there's no telling what's going to happen, but we'll see. You arrive at the shores of the lake and see the guide bending down to pluck some flowers. Oh, here's another one. Oh, uh, hello there. Apologies for my grubby appearance. You look exactly the same as we lost. Uh, last saw you. What are you doing? As your guide, I must not only lead the way, but provide material support. However, our official budget is limited, so I take on odd jobs while you are facing the trials. Helping the villagers and providing you with better support all at the same time. Boy, am I smart. The reward for this job is a wish stone. I think you can get whatever skill you want with it. Try it out. Uh, let's go with an attack skill. Ooh, we don't have a three of a kind one. Does one damage. Protection blade. That's interesting. Isn't that better than what we do? So right now we, we're pulling six armor. But we can pull five armor and still deal one damage. And I know the one damage isn't much, but as you if you start stacking up the damage stuff. Randomly attacks damage our enemies four times, dealing two damage each time. Deal 32 damage and inflict frail for four turns. We have the multi wall. I think with this many defensive ones, I think we'll go with a full house change. But we also don't have a straight or a three of a kind. Uh, I mean, that's eight damage, but it's random enemies. I, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. That feels much better. All right, I'm probably going to do this, to be honest. Uh, there's still some power. Oh, you can continue. Okay, let's go with another attack skill. Deal seven damage, and we get one temporary strength. A mini flush will give us... 10 damage and 2 temporary strength. 3 of a kind. I think we have to do this one. Wait, wait, wait. We didn't do 3 of a kind last time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do 3 of a kind this time. And also... Let's switch to that. And... 3 of a kind. Double slash. Okay. Stone fractures into fragments. Alrighty. Good luck on those tests. The guide fervidly waves goodbye. Okay, prepare function. There, This is basically what they were just explaining, that you can prepare your hand. Uh, tap, so just press this, prepare to see what's there. Skill item in hands. Go to equipment on the skill page to change the skill for each hand. Uh, go to the items to organize items. I don't think we have any items yet. No, we don't have any items yet. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, <clears throat> action plan. The enemy action plan is displayed above their heads. Attack means it'll attack. Defense is defense. Enhancement and or skill to weaken the player. Up and down. Just got it. Armor points are located next to the HP bar. Yep, we've seen that. Used to block enemy attacks. Armor points drop to, the, the, to zero at the beginning of the next turn. Yep. Deck and hand preview. The hand preview is to the left of the deck and it shows the next hand. Select the deck to view the current hand in the deck and the hands used. Sure, we've done that. This is a sorting method for our cards. That's fine. 
You uh, press the item slot at the bottom left to use an item. If you don't have any items. And then you can click on an enemy, specifically which one you want to select. It's so, like there's a dude in the back over here. And it looks like he's got evade on him, so we can't hit him directly. We do have three of a kind. Eight damage to all enemies twice, but we're also going to be getting hit here, so... Four... And so seven damage. I'm going to buff up my strength a little bit. I'm going to play the one pair. And then I suppose... I will just swing on you for now. That's 12, and we definitely blocked all the damage there. Alright, let's say we can do... If we do the mini flush, we lose the armor, and we're going to be getting hit by 6. So we still need this. The mini flush is a bye-bye. Okay. We're chopping away at the front group here. Back guy died for some reason. I'm not real sure why. And it looks like we are not going to get the chance to defend ourselves this time. So we're going to eat some damage if we can't take this guy out. And sadly, with the debuff on and our limited skills, no such luck. So we're going to take six damage. Well, two damage. Right? do this then I'm going to do this and oh not quite enough Boo. I was hoping we'd have just enough 10 ah we took a little bit more damage alright well Pretty, pretty straightforward at this point. Small damage done to us so far. Not too bad. Uh, except we are poisoned, which is ungood. And the poison eats part of our shield, so that explains quite a bit, actually. Alright, if we just do this, we'll do five damage with six cards, and we'll kill them, and we'll be done. As opposed to doing the mini flush. That works. No more risk of any kind of damage. We had no way of protecting ourselves there either at the end. Alright. We don't have a straight, right? We don't. Alright. So we got to choose which one of these sounds the coolest. Deals 14 damage three times. The latter two are random targets. The first one's there. 39 to a single target. Rain slash deals six damage five times. And so that's 30 damage. 39. But we inflict flay, uh, frail. Excuse me. Uh, I think I just like the straight damage. I like the the big the big chunky numbers. All right, and then finally we go here to I guess the boss. You arrive at the location of the trial and find Rabel lazily lying lazily on some monster. Hey. Oh, uh, you're earlier than I expected. Rabel stretches and sits up. <laughs> Barely a scratch on you. The trial is is too easy. The Archbishop is going to talk my ear off. Let me cast a little spell on you. Rebel waves her wand, and a dark cloud of uh, black smoke encircles you. Oh. Bibbidi, bobbidi, poo. Now you're more likely to get injured, too. Or in a fight. Ha! I know what you're thinking, but I'm only being fair and impartial. She pats the creature below her. The cutie pie. This cutie pie is under the same spell. No more complaints, then. So, who will survive till the end? I simply can't wait to find out. He's a he's a big one, and he hits pretty darn hard. Nineteen. All right. I will mini flush up to get some extra strength, and I will do a single attack on you, sir. Okay. Here we go. We gotta get in seven cards next time. We're up to twelve. Absorb most of his attack. Casts energy shield on you or your partner. Okay, I don't know what that means exactly, but 
I believe that means he's not doing anything offensive this time. So... We just beat him down with our single attacks, because unfortunately we had nothing bigger than that. Alright, he's got an energy shield on, I don't know what that means. That means it just absorbs damage. Okay. Well, we'll have a little bit of armor. Ugh. Alright, he's gonna buff himself up and cast energy shield. Oh my god. Alright, I guess I'll end my turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, he's got energy shield and he's doing 25 damage. Let's uh, do this. Energy shield we got through. I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to survive this. He hits hard, but... So do we. And uh, we can just straight end him right here. 60. Oh, yeah, he's done. Bye bye, sir. Big old overhand swing and defeated. Cool. Claim reward. Let's see what we get. Two pair temporary increased strength, but we get two cards. Not bad necessarily. That's four cards. We get two back. Three of a kind, plus one strength, plus one defense performance. That's, um, a constant. Charge. Attack 10% per stack removed after... Oh, okay. Charge plus 4. So that'd be a 40% increase in damage. Draw one card, three of a kind. I don't know. I don't... I'm not in love with the double slash. But which one of these are better? This again, I like the idea, I think I like the idea of permanent strength gains in the combat. As opposed to temporary ones. Hmm. Acceptable for a novice. Come here. You walk forward and Rebel suddenly reaches out and pinches your cheek. Okay. Don't get cocky. Tomorrow's trial will be much more exciting. <laughs> Rebel listlessly waves her hand or her sorry, her wand and disappears. I don't know why I saw a hand there, but okay. Sweet. We get an accessory. An ancient thunder spear. Sounds really good. After shuffling for the first time, each turn deals one thunder damage to a random enemy three times. So three damage, potentially spread out. And that's after a shuffle. Eh. When taking damage for the first time, each battle. Inflict frail on the attacker for three turns. Oh, this is... These all kind of suck. Um, our first turn, we get plus two strength. Kind of like this. At the start of battle, we get the extra performance thing, I think. It's only, these are only like a one-time deal. And I guess this has the most longevity, so we'll go with that. Like, it'll last the longest. All right, I think we're coming up to a stopping point here soon. Yep, meditation function. Okay. Uh, you can meditate once each time you go to a campfire or return to your room. Meditation allows you to spend soul stone fragments to level up skills and gain character abilities. I guess that's what this stuff is up here. All right, well, I'm going to leave it at that for right now, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed this very first episode. A uh, big shout out and a thank you once again to Akupara Games for hooking me up with the code for this. And uh, yeah, I had fun. I think it's very cool, very interesting. Um, and, you know, it, it has a lot of similarities to other games, but pulled together in its own unique fashion and then with its own style or way of doing combat. I think that's kind of neat. You really have to pick and choose what you want um, through your preparation of like, well, you know, for three of a kind here, I'd rather have this one, for instance. And you really get to pick and choose which skills you want in what spots. And I think that is 
pretty it's a pretty important thing to have in my opinion to, to be able to really diversify and pick and choose and make things work so it takes the the traditional hard combat that a lot of games have where oh if this particular thing comes up um this particular card comes up we'll be able to do this particular skill it has that element in it but the cards are always the same it's what your skill is that's different and that you can change i think that's a pretty neat little little um, distinction something that makes it that much more unique say lovely art style fine st story so far I, i'm enjoying it i think it's great Anyway, folks, that's it for this very first episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links, just like there always are. Until the next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.